Xander, how old were you, Chicho, when you knew you loved math and knew you wanted to teach it? Um, how old was I? I did a experiment of teaching mathematics in the mid 1990s just because I had forgotten a lot of it and I wanted to learn it. So I liked teaching. I knew I liked teaching then. But I got into teaching hardcore mathematics or I got into teaching mathematics as a sort of a full time gig. Uh, I loved it was because I was doing geophysics. I, I got into a car accident and physically I wasn't able to go out in, into the field. Like it knocked me out pretty hard, right? So I had to find something else to generate revenue. I burned through my savings up the yin yang and it was taking a long time to get back on my feet uh, on a level where I could do my work. And I realized then that <laughs> the safety net in our society is economically is garbage. Dealing with bureaucracy is pure evil and bureaucrats are not there to help you. They're there to F you up and make sure they look good enough to get promoted into the system. So that was 21 years ago, right? That I really got my, and I had to figure out what I needed to do. I needed to do something to generate money. And it accumulated a little bit of experience teaching mathematics. And it was a family member here. I'll, I'll explain it to you. Uh, I had a f uh, one of my my mother's friends. She worked in a school as a counselor, right? She was trying to do something on the computer, and she was having a hard time. And my mom asked me if I could walk her through it. And I called her up. Then this was over the phone, and I called her up. And all she wanted to do was uh, open up files and put them in the right place and, and folder and stuff like this. So I walked her through how to do that, right? And she was trying to give up, and I. I calmed her down. I said, "Listen, it's okay. Just do this, do this. It's it's hard." And I I I did what I do normally with normal people, with friends or teaching and whatever, right? You just help people out. And then afterwards, she goes, "Chicho, uh, you need to teach." I go, "Listen, I've I've taught before math a little bit. I like it, but uh, you know, I haven't really got into it. Uh, I haven't. I might try it out because I need to find something to be able to generate money. Because now I'm going into debt. I burned through my. She she goes. You need to teach. Just start teaching. So a few weeks later, a few months later, I just started getting clients, math, and off I went. And it's not. I I love math because it empowers people. Right. That's the reason I love math, because it's sort of a selfish reason. Because if I think. Uh, in my opinion, right, what I think is if everybody in the world was literate in the language of mathematics, then I would have more freedom to do what I want to do with my life, right? Because we wouldn't have oligarchs and pieces of shit running governments and corporations because people would just extrapolate out to the limit and go, hey, their model is death, right? So as far as I'm concerned, I'm playing the long game, trying to teach as many people as mathematics as possible, trying to explain to them to look at data, data analysis, trying to figure out, hey, take things to the limit, do your calculus, and realize that this model does not compute, right? And I've been pretty good, right? Even though my main focus is just teaching the syntax of the language of mathematics, it, I can't help but imprint some of my beliefs in that teaching, right? Even though I tone it down a lot, by the way, gang. What we do on our live streams is tone a lot higher level than what I do in person with privately with students. I don't get into politics and stuff when I'm teaching mathematics. I just teach math, the syntax. Like really, I try to not imprint, right? That's not my job as an instructor, as a, as a teacher, right? So once I started doing that and I realized I'm empowering people, that's when I really fell in love with it. Uh, and that's a long story, shorter, medium, <laughs> sort of short, right? And that's how I figured it out. And I stuck with it out of necessity because I had to pay bills and out of self-interest because I felt like I was really making a difference and out of love. And it's not just the love of teaching math is the love of the interaction with the student because it challenged me so it was growth there's so many aspects to it like i, I don't know 